today I'm going to be filming a Sephora haul, which is my favorite kind of video, and I hope your guys' favorite too. But today I'm going to show you what I've kind of recently picked up from the last couple of days from Sephora. I don't know what my arm was doing. Um, but yeah, it's not that much, but it's big enough for a haul. So if you want to see what I got, then go ahead and keep watching. So first of all, excuse what is going on up here. Excuse the messy bun, it just was not happening today, but the makeup is on point, I think so. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna randomly pull out what I got. So first of all, let's start off with what I'm wearing on my lips, and I'm totally loving it. And um, This is the Kat Von D Everlasting a Liquid Lipstick in the shade Double Dare. Oh my gosh, I have been wearing this every single day since I've gotten it. It's just the perfect lip for me it's like what i wanted from lolita but i got it from this color because lolita is kind of dark on me but this is like the perfect peachy mauvey nude that you could find and it goes with any eye look as you can see right now i'm wearing kind of a dramatic look and then the other day i wore like a really simple look with this lip and it just looks amazing like it's my favorite liquid lipstick so far and it's just everything I've wanted from like those mauve um, lipsticks that everybody's wear been wearing. I put those on my lips and they're just too dark and this is like the perfect shade. So like as you can see right here, it's kind of like a mauve brownie nude, but it still has some oranginess to it, but it's not too mauve to where it looks pink. Kind of I told you in my last haul that I did need to pick up some more of these because they're a perfect formula. They're so comfortable on the lips and they last all day. So I went ahead and picked this shade up and I've been loving it so far. Um, I have Berlin already, like I showed in my last haul and it's just like a bright kind of a neutral pink but it's bright, I don't know. If you haven't tried this one out, it's amazing too. So I've really been loving her liquid lipstick. So I had to pick another one up. So speaking of Kat Von D, I have actually, most of this purchase is Kat Von D. And so, so next up, what we have is what I'm so excited about. And I actually haven't touched this because I wanted to show you guys first. And it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And she has a Shade and Light regular palette where it's contouring and highlight. It's a contouring and highlighting palette. And I didn't pick that one up because I already had my Anastasia contour kit. But I really heard it was really pigmented and her eyeshadows are bomb. So once I saw this, I like stared at it every single day until I picked it up. And it's just amazing. If you haven't seen it, let me go ahead and show you. Um, this is her packaging. It looks exactly like this in the side too. Like that's what the actual product looks like. And then on the back, it has the eyeshadow colors and like what family they are in. So And yeah, that's pretty much what it's kind of set up for. Like contour your eye. And I actually really do want to contour my eye, like do like a cut crease or something with this. And so let me know by liking this video or um, commenting down below if you do or interested in seeing that and maybe doing like a first impression on this eyeshadow palette since I haven't touched it yet. So what it comes with is some like eye looks that you could do. And then like I said right here, it shows you what they are for. So every um, little family has a base shade right here and then the family. So like I said, warm, neutral, in or warm, new, um, cool tone and neutral. Got that kind of mixed up. But yeah, it comes like that and then you open it up and it shows you like more eye looks that you could do with each family or you can mix them up whatever you think and it has the names on the back which is really handy because sometimes palettes come with like removable ones that you end up throwing away and then you never know like sh like the shade colors so that will come in handy for my tutorials and oh my god it looks exactly like the contouring highlight palette with the mirror and everything but the shades are so beautiful i have not touched any of these or swatched any so let me go ahead and show you the gloriness of this palette and so like i said in the middle is a cool time cool time cool time cool tone and this is the warm side and then the neutral side i'm pretty sure gonna I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna do it like that and I'm just gonna mix up the colors that I want because I am an artiste and that's what artists do. Just kidding. No, but I'm really excited about this palette. I haven't swatched or touched any of it and let's go ahead and swatch them right now. I'm so excited about this color. It's exactly what I thought it would be. Okay, this color is from the Warm family, of course, and it's called La Casse. Okay, maybe those names won't come in handy because I don't think I can pronounce any. Oh my god, this is so pigmented! 
So this kind of reminds me of Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. And then uh, this top one right here in the warm side actually reminds me of Peach Smoothie. Okay, they're really buttery, so they're so buttery to where they have that kind of powderiness to them. So there's that one. I think that one's kind of like Peach Smoothie. Sorry, I'm like comparing it to Makeup Geek, like I, that's all I use. And then I was really excited about these gray colors right here because I do not have like any gray eyeshadows. And so the top base shade is like a, a light gray. Oh my God, that's so pretty. It's like a taupe. These are like horrible swatches, guys, sorry. And then I'm really, really excited about this kind of dark medium gray. Look at that pigmentation, guys. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. So let me know if y'all want to do a first impression. Well, this kind of was my first impression, but a tutorial using this, I think I would do a really like matte cut crease look. It would look really bomb with this palette. So let me know if y'all do want to see that. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the Kat Von D so far and just show you everything I got by her. So the last thing that I got from her was a studded kiss lipstick in the color Chula. And oh my gosh, when I saw this, I just thought it was completely unique and I've never seen anything like it. And it just screams fall and winter time. So I'm so excited to try it out. So um, if you haven't seen her packaging, it's really, really cute. It's all black with kind of studs on it. If I could get it out of the packaging. So it looks like this, it's kind of like a bullet tube and then it has studs all over it, as you can see. And then I got the color Chula, which is actually a burnt orange shade. It looks so beautiful and unique. I've never seen anything like this. Either you see an orange and it's like really orange or it's not an orange. Like there's nothing in between and this is like the perfect neutral orange. So if you're too afraid to wear some orange, you can wear this one and it has some bread some bread <laughs> I was saying brown and red but it has brown and red kind of hints to it so it makes it really um I'm getting tongue-tied because I'm so excited but it's get it has some brown and reds to it that actually makes it pretty dang neutral so um I am loving it and I think it's a matte because it's it's going on like matte like I said it's in the color Chula and it doesn't say if it's a matte or not but I believe it is because that's what it feels like when I swatch it and that is the color right there. It's so beautiful. It's like a burnt orange. It's actually coming up a little bit more red on camera, but it's it's a true orange. It's just really dark and beautiful. And I cannot wait to bust this out in the fall and um, winter time. And I'm gonna wear it now because I don't really follow the rules of makeup. But yeah, it's just a really good color for the winter and fall, but you can wear it anytime. So that is all what I got from Kat Von D. I am loving her products. I can't wait to try her new eyeshadows that came out. Let me know if y'all tried them down below and if y'all like them or not. Okay, so next up, I'm moving on to some different brands. I got this Shiseido Abu Ibuki Gentle Cleanser. And this kind of interested me because it said Gentle Cleanser on it. And as y'all know, I don't, I think I've told y'all in my empties video, I use the Cetaphil I have my empties basket right here. Let me just show you. I use the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser by Cetaphil and I really, really love it. So once I saw this, I kind of wanted to give it a try and see like what the difference was. And so I went ahead and got a sample a couple weeks ago and I've been using it and uh, I fell in love and I had to purchase it. It's kind of like the Cetaphil Cleanser times 10. It's just really amazing. Um, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. So it comes in a squeezy tube like this and um, it has this white kind of cream consistency. I don't know if you are going to be able to tell, but it has kind of a luminosity to it. And so when I first tried it, I was really, really surprised because a little bit goes a long way. Like when I first used it, I used way too much and my face was like a mask. It was crazy. But you only need like a little, little tiny bit, like a little pinch of it then you'll lather it in between your hands and once you start lathering it a little bit goes a long way and it just comes into this milky foam that goes all over your face and like I said it's like a mask and it just like it's like a white foamy mask all over your skin and then you rinse it off and your skin is like squeaky clean I mean like kind of like oh geez 
um, but it's not drying it just, it just gives you that squeaky clean feeling so if you do not like that you won't like this but I have oily skin so I really love that feeling and it also has glycerin in it and if y'all do not watch Nikki tutorials she raves about glycerin and how it makes her products stick to her face like she uses it as a primer um, this has glycerin in it, so after I use this and put on my serums and moisturizers, I feel like they really lock to my face and stick to it, and it just makes it amazing. So it actually made me put my Cetaphil down and grab this and purchase it. I've really been loving it. A little bit goes a long way, so the price point is on like it's okay um it is on the pricier side though it's 30 dollars, so you have to keep that in mind but a little bit does go a long way and i feel like this will last me forever but if you want a cheaper alternative you can try the cetaphil i just feel like this is times 10 and i really really love it and i've been loving it so i went ahead and bit the bullet and purchased it Next up, we have a Bite Beauty Natural Food Grade Natural Gloss. I don't know why I read the whole thing. And I've been eyeing this baby for a very long time. My hair is crazy. Please excuse it, guys. Um, but this is Rambutan by Bite Beauty. And if y'all follow Amanda and Zings, this is like a YouTube made me buy it haul. But anyways, she raves about these glosses, especially this color. And I tried it on one day, and it just makes whatever lipstick you're wearing 10 times better. Or it just looks amazing by itself. And so like I said, it's in the color Rambutan. And the thing, the cool thing about Bite Beauty is that they're food grade products. So they're all natural and you can basically eat this whole tube of lip gloss and you won't get sick or anything. It might make your, I don't suggest eating it, but um, it's very natural to where it won't hurt you. And you but anyways, it's a really, really pretty nude um almost beige colored gloss it's so beautiful and these are actually pretty thick to where they stay on your lips they're not necessarily sticky they do have a little bit of stick to them but not as sticky as like sticky glosses you know what i'm saying it just has enough stickiness to where it lasts on your lips it's kind of a neutral beige kind of pink nude color and it's amazing and it has so much pigmentation and i really really like it and I'm excited to try it out. I don't know if y'all can see my bad swatch, but it's a really pretty gloss. And I stuck on my NYX Butter Glosses and I like own no other brand of gloss. So I really wanted to try out that brand and make sure I do like it before I purchase other ones because I just use NYX all the time and I kind of want to switch it up. Next up, we have another skincare item and this is the Bosha Cool Calming Mask. And I purposely bought this just because it was on sale. I didn't really read up on it or anything like that. The reason I got it was because it was on sale for like 20 something dollars and usually Bosha runs kind of high in price range. So I really wanted to see what it was about. So I started reading the box and it says that it cool, it's a, let me just read it to you. A refreshing revitalizing peel off mask that instantly cools, calms inflammation and relieves redness. Um, Amira Marine Harvest Sea Whip, one of the world's most powerful anti-inflammatory ingredients, helps smooth and revive calmer, clearer skin. And it's a peel-off mask. And the reason it interested me after I, like right after I read it, I was like, heck yes, it's on sale, I'm gonna buy it. And the reason why is because I pick at my face, and um, you probably know that by now because I always mention it in my videos, but I pick at it. And what, like after I pick at it, like I'm not even harshly picking at my skin. Like I'll barely go, oh, like what's that? And I'll like scratch it or whatever. And my skin is so sensitive that it will like inflame. Like it will get red and just look like I jacked up my face basically. That's why I do not suggest picking at your skin. But I will barely touch it or scratch out something that I have or just like mess with something and my face will get like swelled up wherever I picked at it. And it will also get a lot of redness. So I was thinking after that happens to me or after I accidentally scratch something or do something weird to my face and it gets inflamed, I could use this because it does have those anti-inflammatory properties in it and it's a cooling, calming mask. So what you do is apply it to your face and then you'll just peel it off after. And I really wanted a, a calming mask because all I have is like glam glow and like really harsh a uh, mask. So those tend to purge my skin after I use them so after I use them I end up breaking out because it's purging like everything everything's coming out of my pores and I wanted a mask that I could use that if I just want to pamper myself that day I could use it and it won't affect my skin in any way like it won't purge my skin or make me break out and so this just sounded like it was good enough for all those things that I wanted so I went ahead and got it and I'm really excited to try it out I believe it's a blue color I kind of looked up reviews about it yeah so it's a blue 
kind of gel consistency and then you just apply it oh it's coming out you just apply it to your face and then peel it off when it dries and I'm really excited to try it out um, a lot of people said that the bad the only bad thing about that is that you have to use quite a bit so you could actually have enough to peel off the mask or else it will kind of just flake in different spots but yeah I'm really excited to try that out and last but not least I got the makeup forever professional aqua liner in green and I've actually been wanting this one and the blue one that um, they have and it's never in stock so when I saw this baby back there I went ahead and grabbed it and it's to me it's just really really pretty and I could see myself doing a really pretty tutorial with it so it's the aqua liner so it's waterproof and it's this really majestic metallic green shade I don't know if y'all it's focusing yeah and um, I just see myself like if you don't if you really don't want to fuss with your eyeshadow you could just do kind of natural shades in the crease and then pop this on and it's like you tried really hard and did like a awesome eye and to me when you swatch it it's just so gorgeous it's like not even green green but it's like a weird kind of emerald green and it has some metallicness to it and also some glitter and it dries pretty quick and the applicator is good so I wanted to give it a try so if y'all want to see this in a tutorial please let me know but see it's so gorgeous but yeah that is all i got i hope that you enjoyed this haul if you have any questions about the products that i mentioned please leave them down below and i'll be sure to answer for you guys and yeah make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it it really helps me out it makes me kind of figure out what videos to keep making for you guys and what i should not make for you guys you know what i'm saying and if you're not subscribed please subscribe it will mean the world to me and warm my heart i just love getting more of you guys in my family and it just makes me so more happy to do my videos for you guys and yeah that's all i have to say until next time guys bye